Number 10. Freddy Got Fingered. Freddy Got Fingered is a movie starring Tom Green and is somehow worse than the name would lead you to believe. The movie is basically just Tom Green being Tom Green. He moves out of his parents' house and ends up working in a cheese sandwich factory, which he can't handle, so he moves home and then dot I'm not really sure there's a plot. There are some vaguely related scenes involving Green's character's father so that we can all enjoy weird scenes of Green beating a cripple and making awkward gross humor. It's kind of like the whole film is Tom Green screaming, look at me, look at me, look at me, which he actually does in one scene. Number 9 Napoleon Dynamite While sometimes stupid things are funny, for sure, some things try too hard to be stupid, pathetic funny and just end up being weird and off-putting. Our main character, Napoleon, is so purposefully awkward and nerdy that it just becomes hard to watch. You're left with a movie that seems like it was made simply to sell t-shirts at Hot Topic so the teenagers can tell you, you don't get it. When you point out it's a horrible movie. Number 8 After Earth When an actor admits a movie is the most painful failure of the their career, your expectations should be somewhat lowered. Will Smith said exactly this about After Earth, 2016, which Smith co-wrote, his wife produced, and he and his son. Jaden Smith, starred in. The pacing was weird and dull, the acting was terrible, and the plot. The plot is that Earth was evacuated 1,000 years ago, and the Smiths get stranded there. Everything on Earth has evolved to kill humans, of which there have been none on the planet for 1,000 years. There are enough flash forwards and flashbacks that you need a flowchart to keep track of where you are, and a thousand other little things a reasonably intelligent person would take issue with. Like the miles and miles of lush green vegetation, yet being told the planet freezes over at night. Number 7 King Kong Lives In 1976, King Kong was remade, and it was pretty decent. In 1986, a sequel was made, called King Kong Lives, and it wasn't good at all. It had a very small budget for a movie that had poor special effects, and it's obvious in the finished product. The pacing in a movie about a giant ape being kept alive in a coma and given an artificial heart, allows it to be boring. Obviously, a blood transfusion and a new heart cure comas, so that happens. Also there's a Lady Kong? When the apes are people in ape suits it's just weird and stupid. Adding Baby Kong helps exactly none. Number 6 Battleship Sometimes Hollywood has the ability to take things that aren't movies or even stories and make them into amazing film franchises. For example, Pirates of the Caribbean was a Disney ride. Sometimes Hollywood tries too hard and you get things like 2012's Battleship. We assume they spent the money on the actress and CGI instead of hiring someone to write a plot. The movie is basically the Navy vs. Aliens, blowing crap up at sea. It is arguable that the movie is enjoyable but still stupid. Number 5 Theodore Rex If you ever wanted to see Whoopi Goldberg in 1995 in a spandex suit fighting crime with a dinosaur, watch this movie. If that is not a very specific desire you've had for more than a decade, skip it. It's pretty obvious watching it that even Whoopi thought it was horrible. Please remember this is the same talented woman who acted in The Color Purple, and don't hold this movie against her. Number 4 Seed. It's arguable that any U-Bowl film could have been put on this list. Hailed by some as the worst filmmaker ever, Bowl's best films are a B, and his worst well. Take for example Seed. A young man who's disfigured goes on a killing spree, and his final body count is 666. The point of the film is that cops are inept and this kid is somehow worse than the devil. Did we mention that the film starts with PETA stock footage of animal torture to show how bad the kid is? Number 3 Jilly. One would assume that two people who are very publicly dating and in love would have some chemistry on screen, that is if one hadn't seen 2003's Jilly. Jennifer Lopez, who plays a lesbian LA gangster Y girl of some sort, happens to meet Ben Affleck who is a low-level LA hitman gangster white tough guy who's just kidnapped a mentally handicapped man. One could argue there are holes in the plot, but there's honestly more holes than plot. Number 2 
Do Spigolo European Gigolo. Do Spigolo, European Gigolo is probably low hanging fruit, but it feels like this movie was out to insult everyone, blacks, European whites, Americans, children, sex workers, and people with developed senses of humor. Because one awkward movie about a male prostitute with a mouthy sidekick wasn't enough, this is basically the same thing, but in Amsterdam. Number 1 Battlefield Earth Battlefield Earth is a movie about aliens invading Earth and the worst performance by John Travolta in the history of ever. L. Ron Hubbard, the creator of Scientology, wrote the sci-fi book this film is based on to make the religion seem cool to younger people. Travolta, a Scientology devotee, worked for years to have the film made, which kind of just makes it hurt all the more.